but as a veteran of the playoffs, what have you learned that's going to help you think in this first stage? Well, anything can happen, that's for sure. And, you know, it happens quick. Uh, three races and, you know, somebody gets, you know, four guys are out. And so there's just not a lot of room for error. And, and I think, you know, the first six races have so much potential for chaos. Um, it's really all about just keeping a cool head and, and hopefully, uh, you know, executing to your full potential. That's really what matters. And um, do all you can to not get eliminated. That's the name of the game. When we talk about the first three races, you mentioned the first six are crazy. So the first three, even super speedway, road course, or short track. How crazy is that first one? And it's the wild card at all of them still, right? I mean, the, the, <laughs> there's a lot of wild cards anymore, you know, with the way the racing is, how aggressive it is, how close it is. Um, you know, it's it's it could come at any time. So you just you got to just try to focus on your own deal. And you know, for us, we haven't been executing races very well lately. And but we've had a lot of speed, and we just need to get back to what we do and take care, take advantage of that speed and be smart about it. How much have you thought about or let it sink in that this is it? Where your final stretch? Yeah, I mean, I. I I, I think it's kind of sunk in, you know. I, I'm not sure what what it'll feel like when it comes to an end, but you know, right now I'm still enjoying it, having fun, and uh, yeah, just looking forward to the next ten weeks. And you know, hopefully we'll we'll get the job done, and then uh, we can go off and have some fun. Yeah, it certainly, it certainly does. It's not like I'll be gone forever, and this is the end of the road. So I still like to race, and I still will do it some more. It's, uh, you know, it would be nice to just race for fun and not have to uh, deal with this pressure that's about to start again, you know. Been doing it for a long time, got a lot of gray hair from it, uh, but I'm excited about it too. Cool. Thanks, Mark. Young guy still, but you're a veteran of the playoffs. If you go back and look at your first year compared to now, what have you learned and maybe how has the mentality changed in the times you've been in the playoffs? Uh, it's been pretty similar, I feel like. Um, yeah, I just try to approach it, you know, kind of the same as I would any other um, playoff. So, yeah, it's about the same. First three races, well, actually the first six are just wild cards in themselves. But how crazy is that first leg when you go from super speedway, road course, to short track? Uh, yeah, it's just each one takes a little something different. So, um, yeah, the, the first round is definitely a lot of different tracks. And Watkins Glen's its own beast and um, just have to approach it race by race. I don't think I really do. I think you just try to, you know, get as much points as you can. So uh, just try to have a good, good three stages and, and not have any major mistakes. I love it. I think um, you know this is where we want to be every year. So um, right now it's just about putting the work in and, and getting to work with my team, and that's all I'm really focused on. Yeah, I mean some, but it's more for it's more for those guys on the strategy side. I think for me, it's easy to tell you know yellow spoilers out there. So um, as you get further down in the playoffs, you know that you know in the round of eight, you're going to have to be one of those top three or four. But uh, right now, it's just about focusing on yourself. Bradley, how are you? Good. Good. He gave me this hat. <laughs> I was looking at him. So I'm wearing it. Nice. Does it look like a 90s hat? It looks like a 90s Hornets hat. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's stealthy. It's a little different. All right. So, so being a veteran of the playoffs, how have you changed as a driver from the first year? How have you kind of matured and, 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 and the, the mentality? I don't think the mentality changes, but you do mature to it because you understand what you're up against, where you're going to, you know, what's what's coming at you, right? And um, anytime you know those things, you can usually make better decisions moving forward. Um, and knowing what it feels like to win, knowing what it feels like to lose, you can use that for motivation a lot of times. But, um, yeah, you know it's going to be 10 grueling weeks. You hope it's 10 grueling weeks is what you really want. Yeah. A couple of times said, you know, 10 weeks we'll talk again. I'm like, 
uh, if you get to the 10 to, weeks, to but the, the, the first stage with, you know, uh, super speedway to road course to the short course. How crazy is that? I know the first six are crazy, but the first three, how crazy yeah. is that layout? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's probably the most, I don't call it wild cards, it's the most, like, just unique, I guess, um, round that we've ever had. Uh, when you think of what Atlanta can be, Watkins Land, there's a lot of changes there, and it's a road course. Um, and then, you know, Bristol, we just seen what happened there in the spring with the tires. Does that happen again? Does it not? I don't really know yet. Um, so I think there's there's a lot of question within the first round of, of what's going to happen. So um, you just go for base hits, <laughs> right? That's what you go for. Easier said than done, um, but you know you got to survive. That's the big thing about this this playoff format, the way it goes. You just got to keep surviving, keep yourself in the in the rounds and moving on. And um, you know, hopefully, you are the win the right ones, and you're able to to gain the speed that you need throughout the, the ten weeks. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think you you still got to go racing. You got to do you, right? It's no, you, it's hard to change who you are. A lot of times in the race car, you got to do what's natural. Um, but there's a lot of decisions that are made that whether it's a strategy or you know certain little odds and ends pieces to the cars, things like that, that you can be more aggressive by it or, or not, right? So um, you just kind of got to weigh out where you're at and make those decisions. Sure. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. You must have been a Horns fan. Thank you. I appreciate that. I wish I had an extra. I'd give you one. I'll get it from you. Ah, that's well played. I know a guy. Come find me. Yeah. How are we doing, guys? Good. How are you, Brian? Good. Glad to be here. Um, so, if you could go back in your first year you're in the playoffs until now, how do you think you've grown as a driver and as the mentality changed? My first year in the NASCAR playoffs was 2011. I remember that first race vividly. All the pressure you feel, and you're excited to be a part of the playoffs, but a lot of pressure. Uh, interesting time. Then we raced in Chicago, uh, and obviously this year in Atlanta. So. You know, the playoffs uh, have certainly evolved over the years. Uh, some things have gotten easier, a lot of things have gotten harder. Um, and, uh, you know, I appreciate that because of the time I've been a part of them. When you talk about the first stage, I know the first six races were crazy, but the first three, from Super Speedway to Road Course to Bristol, how crazy is that first three? Uh, yeah. That, that first three races? Yeah, it's, it's quite a uh, sampling, <laughs> you know, to go from a Super Speedway Road Course to a short track. Um, you know, I think it just brings out the best of the sport. Yeah. Considering the nature of how it takes to get to the next round. Yeah, I think you know it, as the races progress for the playoffs, the risk versus reward changes, and the moves you make, whether conscious or subconscious, change, uh, and it's part of the the storyline of what makes the NASCAR playoffs so interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the excitement level is still high. Uh, we recognize what's in front of us over the next ten weeks. It's that big trophy sitting over there in the corner. We really want to take it home, and this is our opportunity to do so. Good. Cool. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, guys.